Hello Church, I just wanted to bring a, a short message to you at this time. This is a very unusual time uh, in our church, perhaps the first time that most people in our church have experienced a, a quarantine or a suspension of meetings. And I just wanted to uh, encourage everyone that God's still in control. God uh, foresaw this and God understood what was happening. And I believe he's already prepared us uh, for his glory to be revealed in our church even through these uh, troubling situations. Um, sometimes when we think of faith, we think of doing great exploits and we think of doing amazing miracles and evangelistic missions or great programs for God and uh, seeing lots of outward success. But actually faith can exhibit itself in many different ways. And I was reading this morning this story in the book of Acts. Let me read this uh, passage to you. It's in Acts chapter 27. And in verse 9, this is the story of uh, the Apostle Paul when he's about to embark on a, uh, a sea voyage to Rome on a ship and they're at the island of Crete and here's what happens. It says, Much time had been lost and sailing had already become dangerous because by now it was after the Day of Atonement. So it's in, it's in the autumn. Dangerous time to sail ships. So Paul warned them, Men... I can see that our voyage is going to be disastrous and bring great loss to ship and cargo and to our own lives also. But the centurion, instead of listening to what Paul said, followed the advice of the pilot and the owner of the ship. Since the harbour was unsuitable to winter in, the majority decided that we should sail on, hoping to reach Phoenix and winter there. This was a harbour in Crete, facing both southwest and northwest. The Apostle Paul, through uh, inspiration of the Holy Spirit, warned the people now was a time not to sail forward, but to rest and to wait and to stay where they were. It's interesting that Paul was telling them to take faith in what he told them, in not launching out in activities, but to have a period of suspension of sailing so that God's word could still come to pass. It's very interesting that the three people who were uh, responsible for the ship didn't want to listen to Paul. Paul warned them that there was going to be disaster, that there was going to be loss, and that lives were going to be affected if they carried on as though nothing else was happening. The centurion, he had the legal power. He, he had the governmental authority. He was going to decide what happens. The pilot or the captain of the ship, he was the expert. He was the, the man who knew how to sail a ship of the sea. Today we have lots of experts telling us what we should and shouldn't do. And they are indeed experts and we should listen to them when they're giving us proper advice. And then there was also the owner of the ship. He was the man who was interested in the business aspects. He was the guy who was interested primarily about the money side of their uh, endeavours. Paul warned them. Paul says, look, now is a time to rest. It's not a time to launch out at sea. It's a time to wait for two or three months until we know exactly what's happening. And then we can sail on and we can continue on our voyage and everything can work out fine. But they didn't want to listen. You know, in, in today's situation, lots of people are giving advice. The church should just carry on and hold meetings because we need the money to come in, because we think we know what to do, because we're in charge, we have the authority. But I believe now is a time that God's telling us, now is a time to wait. Now is a time to stay in harbour. I think it would be dangerous to just proceed as normal. We would risk disaster. We would risk loss. And we may put vulnerable lives at risk. And so what we're going to do as a church, we're going to have a season of waiting and trusting God. This is just as much faith as launching out in lots of activities. And it's a priority right now that we trust in God and we seek God. It's interesting that there were three people that heard Paul's message and heard Paul's words, but they didn't want to listen to him. You know, you have three aspects of your soul speaking all the time. You have your mind, you have your emotions, and you have your willpower. 
you need to be very careful that those three things do not override God's guidance at this time. Your willpower may be very strong. You may say, I'm going to carry on and I'm going to do what I want to do. That can be a very dangerous thing. The strength of your individual willpower is not necessarily faith in God. You may have your emotions. You may be upset and confused and so you just want normality. But trust in God. Don't let the emotions lead how you live your life at this moment. Let the words from God lead how we live as Christians and as the church. And don't let your mind, don't let yourself think you become an expert on everything that's happening. I don't think we fully know everything that's happening at the moment. Don't follow all the conspiracy theories or all the crazy ideas that are happening. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And so at this moment as a church, although it will be difficult and some of the meetings have been suspended, we have not stopped being the church. We're going to continue to live as Christians, to trust in the Lord, to seek him. I'm going to be bringing updates as often as I can. If you can log online and keep updated in everything that's happening, then I'm sure your faith will be encouraged. There's a time and season for everything, it tells us in Ecclesiastes. There's a time to embrace. There's a time to cease from embracing. There's a time for everything under the sun. At this moment, as a ship, because the ship is always a picture of the church, we're going to stay in the harbour and we're going to wait out this storm. We don't want to hit the storm head on. That would, that would just endanger lives, bring disaster and possible loss. The storm will pass. The church will live forever. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. So I just encourage everyone, every member of our church or anyone who is listening, just trust in the Lord. This will only be for a season. There is no need to panic. There is no need to worry. Be encouraged. Listen to the word of God. Now is a time of waiting. Now is a season of staying still. But God is real. He is with you. The Holy Spirit is not limited by attending a church building. You have God's word that you can read for yourself. So be encouraged in this season and keep trusting in the Lord. The Lord be with you and God's peace be with you all. Amen.